Gundam makes a Danganronpa rewrite where Shuichi is the protagonist. Year of the Horizon, you're United States Aviator, and welcome back to another episode of the Don Gone Rampa Hunger Games, and it's time. Today is a very special day. It is International Men's Day, and I know many moons ago, almost two whole years ago we declared Makoto as best boy in a battle of the boys but today we're not deciding who's the best boy we're deciding who's the best man I had that in my head and now saying it out loud I realize it's a wedding term but we're sticking to it anyway Here's everyone who's here. <laughs> we have in District 1 Makoto, Togami, Chihiro, Hifumi, Taka, Leon, Mondo, and Hiro, the DR1 boys in District 2. We have Hajime, Fat Togami, Fuihiko, Gundam, Kazuichi, Nagito, Nekamaru, Teruteru, and Azuri, the Danganronpa 2 boys. And on to District 3 we have Jitaro, Masaru, Nagisa, Haiji. Taichi, Yuta, the Ultra Despair Men. District 4, we have Gota, Kiba, Kaito, Kokichi, Kori in the house, Rantaro, Ryoma, and the Duel Master, Shuichi, the V3 Men. District 5, we have Daisaku, the Great Gozu, Juzo, Tengen, Kizakura, Murakata, Mitarai, and Izayoi, the Anime Men. And in District 6, we're goofing around a little bit. We have Alter Ego, we have Mechamaru, we have AI Gonta, we have Takamichi, Pennyworth, Yasuke, and Jin. And that's the lot. That's the lot of folks who are here on this day, on this fine day. So tell me, which district has not the best boys, the best men? <laughs> oh man, this is ridiculous. I'm here for it though. Give me first, second, and third. There's secret achievements. There's no wheel, thank goodness. That was out early, early on. And the exact opposite fashion of the tag team one, which I'm certain is getting spun tomorrow at this point. I can't say that I'm certain it'll hit. Because I was certain last time, and let me tell you, it did not. But leave those comments after you like and subscribe, because those comments are important. And I will take a second. They're not just important because they show you the way, they're important because they give me ideas. <laughs> There's plenty of episodes that would never have existed without the comments. And so the comments are important like this one. And that one. And even that one. And I'm not gonna say suggest them right now, but get in your mind, start thinking about winter events and winter arena events, because that is really just around the corner at this point. We've had fall for a while. But I'm gonna give you my picks. You already know. Well, you know what? DR2, they're my favorite boys. I think Danganronpa 1, those are my favorite men. Mm. No, it's still Danganronpa 2. They still got it. <laughs> they still got it. And in fact, give me Fuihiko for first. Give me Fat Togami for second, and give me Kazuichi for third. I'm sweeping DR2. I think they're sweeping today. I think they're sweeping today. But. Do I have but Oh, thank goodness. I thought I caught myself unprepared. Because I had no idea what I was looking for until... Is here. We gotta just go right into it. Because we have, what, 46? Maybe? Something of along those lines competitors we might get some horns blasting we might get a whole bunch of i i'm excited for this one i really am who will be danganronpa's best man we have to re-simulate four times to figure it out 
a seamless transition as we scroll up and we hit resimulate. And not one time. And not two times. And not three times. But for the men, for the men, we resimulate. Alright, all that's out now. I'll probably still do plenty of that during the game. As we resimulate a fantastic fourth time. Sato? You ready? I sure hope so. Let's go on. What awaits beyond the horizon? I haven't the slightest, not the nariest, but I can tell you. Secret achievements are in play. A couple... Couple could hit today. Will it happen? I don't know. But we'll proceed to see if it does. As we go on, the boys are back and they're trying to become men. And they're standing on their podiums. And Sato, I hear you loud and clear. Can you please sound the horn? You'll get, a, you'll get a friend eventually. It was a big game. You had a good chance. But you know what? Who knows? Gundam takes a spear from inside of the cornucopia. Yuna found... Oh no. He finds a book titled To Cook Hero. A beginner's guide. Hero is both amazed and horrified. At the level of detail within the book, he's probably terrified that aliens created that book. Territory makes a suicide pact with Ryoma, Taichi, and Leon. Oh. Oh, you've gotten two frail-hearted boys and Leon. Once the others are dead, Teru Teru pretends he wasn't involved. Oh, you're a villain, sir. Mitsurai smashes Nagisa across the face with a brick, but Nagisa shrugs off the blow. Fear him. Mechamaru runs away from the cornucopia, as does Juzo, as does Munakata. Jitaro strangles Chihiro with a rope. Oh, that's not good. Hifumi comes to capture Kibo, a dangerous killer that escaped from an insane asylum. Cory takes a loaded shotgun from the supplies and fires at it. Haiji, Haiji can see those pellets approaching in slow motion and dodges them all. Impressive. Makoto grabs a new backpack for the new school year. I mean, maybe the new semester. That would have been more fitting. It's coming up. Rantaro finds an ocarina in the cornucopia. He plays it, and the sound warms the heart of each and every tribute as he sounds the horns. Rantaro, thank you. There are a bunch of other horns and you chose the one fun item, or maybe one or two fun items that was not a horn. But you know what? You know what you did? You sounded them. That's my boy. That's my horn bearer. That's my horn bearer. You and Sato, you go in places. This sounds good too. This sounds good too. <laughs> All three go runs away from the cornucopia. Fuiko and AI go to fall in love. It's first sight despite the circumstances. Nagito seriously contemplates suicide. You should have been up there earlier with the homies. You could have done it. Nakamaru steps off his podium too soon and blows up. Yasuke grabs a backpack and retreats Mondo. Grabs as many weapons as humanly possible. Izuru takes that loaded shotgun from the supplies. Kazuichi, the ultimate pimp. The former pancake champ dodges all those pellets, dodges them, every slow motion, boom, 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 not a single one hits him, he's going strong, Tengen grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty, Gozu runs away from the cornucopia, Shuichi uh, matches a pair of sides, Kokichi kills Daisaku for his supplies, my goodness, Pennyworth, what betrayal, stabs Togami in the back with a trident, that's your boy, literally, <laughs> that's your boy, Taka runs away from the cornucopia, so does Gonta. Hajime grabs a machete. Izioi refuses to believe any of this is real. Takamichi runs away from the cornucopia. Tatsugami comes in, riding into the games on a rare mount, making Masaru and Jin both a little jealous. Kaito runs away from the cornucopia, as does Kizakura. We will proceed along day one. But we did get a horn bear, Rantaro. I thank you. As we go on, it is round two, day one. It would be round two if it's if it were tomorrow. Mondo, Masaru, AI going to get chased by a rampaging alter ego? Ha how? I ask no questions, Makoto Juzo. Jitaro Kibo and Ufumi hunt for other tributes. Shuichi sets up an ice cream shack. 
Hajime comes and buys some. It's delicious. The protags supporting each other. I see that. Yuta, rest in a fruit tree. Kokichi plays chess with death and wins. Ironically enough, the death version has, has come up less often than this one, which is nuts, because the death one is in, I think, a couple different, um, nights. Or it's in night and it's in day. Mitsurai refuses to let the leaves fall out of the trees and tries to staple them all on. You were the reason that they fall off later, and I had to have everyone rake them on Sunday. <laughs> Rantaro chases Azuru. Gundam freaks out completely upon seeing a painting of dogs playing poker. Uh, you know what? He's the ultimate breeder. He's like, what? What? What arcane magic courses through these canines to cause them to play the games of lies and deceit? Mechamaru is so excited about his super weapon that will take over the arena that he wrote a song about it. Mm -hmm. Mechamaru, you got something to tell us? I didn't know about it. Okay. Hyde receives a knife from an unknown sponsor. Kaito confesses how much he has come to hate Nagisa, and Nagisa's like, feelings mutual, even though shares a voice with Maki. <laughs> Teru Teru confides in Hiro. Gozu chases Taka around with a mace. Tengen, Fat Togami, and Gonta overhear Izuoi. I'm sorry, are about to kill Izuoi when he suddenly pulls out a grappling hook, uses it to escape. Cory puts thumbtacks in Munakata's shoes. Munakata sees those thumbtacks, picks one up, stabs Cory to death, using it like a sword. He knows his sharp objects. Takamichi doesn't want to live on this planet anymore. Nagita is exposed to Fuiko's sensitivity aura, causing him to become more emotional. Yasuke receives a hat from another sponsor. Kazuichi catches Pennyworth crawled up in a ball. Rocking back and forth, sucking on his thumb, it seems like he's lost it, probably so after taking out Togami. Jin receives a hatch from an unknown sponsor, and Kizakura receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. We lost. Eight. Eight gone. But it's a big game. It is a big game. A big time game. And the stakes are- that's my singles rider diary on how could you? The first one out. Okay, nope. Whew. We won't dilly-dally. It's a clear Deluge for Ryoma, Taichi, Leon, Chihiro, Nakamaru, Daisaku, Togami, Kori. We have plenty more people left. The exact number I have no idea because I don't really remember how many we started with. Uh, we have 38. 28 more until you're saving grace picks. Which team is doing the best right now? Danganronpa 1 still has 5. Danganronpa 2, the ones that I said are gonna go strong, they only lost 1. But so did the team of Ultra Despair Girls. 2 are gone from V3. Only 1 is gone as well from the anime. And District 6 completely in. So maybe I take it back, maybe they'll go strong this time. But we have to proceed to see if that happens. Are you ready? Because we have to. Let's see. At the start of night one, Rantaro, the new Hornbearer, Hornbearer Rantaro, chases Yasuke, Kibo, and Kaito trying to enforce a curfew. Juzo is gentle with Munakata. It's, it's probably a wish come true. After repeated... Okay, after repeatedly losing to Shuichi and Chess, Masaru tosses the game board into the campfire. Still not the fatal one. Pennyworth, then Fuihiko, Yudo, and uh, Yuda, and Haiji away from his fire. Mondo goes to the love hotel with Batogami. Jitaro destroys Kokichi's supplies while he's asleep. Alter Ego finds an etch cut somehow and ends up breaking it in frustration, probably because you can't actually use it because you don't have hands. Maybe it's an etch sketch app. Nagisa XQ. Oh. Azuru convinces Nagito not to kill him, only to kill him instead. Rest in peace to Nagito Izioi. Ksutka cooks his food before putting out his fire. Gozu. AI Gonta and Jin get into a scrum debate with Kazuichi, Takami uh, Takamichi, and Nakamaru about who the strongest character in Danganronpa is. A couple contenders in there too, Gonta, Gozu, and Nakamaru. Who is it? Who do you think it is? I don't know. And how are we defining strength? Mitsurai still ain't afraid of no ghost. Despite Gundam's desperate begging, Makoto decides to leave his campsite. Apparently, their feud has grown too strong. Didn't even know they had a feud. Hajime battles territory in an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Hajime loses and has a sad feeling in his chest. 
if Fumi catches Tengen with a giant box of comically placed banana peels. That does not bode well. Thinking quickly, Taka constructs a homemade gun using only some string, a squirrel, and a gun. Hiro dies from hunger, who I think is the only death for this. No, Nagi's toe. Kizakura is awoken by nightmares, and Gonta's reflection in the mirror distorts to show, him, to show him his true self. Is he pleased with what he sees? Hopefully it's a gentleman, otherwise that mirror might get broken. It is day two. Jitaro diverts Izio's attention and runs away. AI Gonta takes a day trip to the countryside. Dragging in all the fall colors, Takamichi receives a hatchet from the known sponsor. Alter Ego shoulder charges into a tree, knocking it over and crushing Kokichi and Azuru as they walk past. Okay, Alter Ego. Okay, Mitarai catches. Makamaru crawled in a ball, rocking back and forth, sucking on his thumbs. It seems like he's lost it. Apparently they didn't vote for him as the strongest character. Hifumi and Haiji insult one another relentlessly after getting into a bloody fight. Tengen catches Mondo off guard and kills him. Rest in peace to Mondo. Nagisa's phone rings. There's no caller ID. When he picks it up, he just hears an ocarina blasting in his ear. It's Rantaro on the other line insulting him. Gundam, Kazuichi, Kibo tend to their prized pumpkins, preparing them for the upcoming fair. Gonta makes a Danganronpa rewrite where Shuichi is the protagonist. Mikado, <laughs> Jen, Teru Teru Kaito, and Fuyuhiko take a hayride at the pumpkin patch. Gozu receives clean water from the known sponsor. Pennyworth chases Yasuke around with a mace. Kizakura chases Fat Togami around with a mace as well. Hajime and Juzo make a list of chores for Masaru to complete. You're not his parents. How dare you? Yuta discovers a cave and Mitsurai smacks the taste out of Taka's mouth. We only, did we only lose two? Oh no, we lost five. Two the first day and then three the next day. Five more gone. That brings us to 33. Still plenty more to go. As we hit a clear day loon. Four. Nagito. Hiro. Kokichi. Izuru. Mondo. Boys, boys. But Donorable One is doing terrible. They have three left Makoto, Hafumi, and Taka, but that doesn't mean that they are out of this. District 2 still has Hajime, Fatogami, Fuyiko, Gundam, Kazuichi, and Teru Teru. District 3 still has only lost Taichi. District 4 still uh, has only lost Kori, Ryoma, and Kokichi. District 5 still only lost Daisaku, and District 6 is still going very, very strong. They are to be feared now. They are not to be toyed with. They were not here as a joke. They know what they're doing. They're here to win. But will they? I don't know. Will four times be beneficial to District 6? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's proceed. Tonight, too. Takamichi loads his shotgun with the physical form of murderous intent. So, a bullet. Yasuke thinks about home. Yuta challenges Afumi and Masaru to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Kafumi eats the most pancakes and is dubbed the new world pancake champion. Alter Ego cuddles up against Teru Teru. Hajime, Kibo, AI Gonta, and Fatogami tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Jen Pennyworth and Gonta play a game of Monopoly. Jen loses all of his properties and then flips the board over Monopoly. Let me tell you. Tenken, Shuichi, and Kaito enter a scrum debate with Haiji, Munakata, and Mekamaru. They argue about who's the best girl in Danganronpa. There are no girls here today. It's only the men. Only the men. The girls will have their episode this season too, don't worry. Jitaro convinces Kazuichi not to kill him, only to kill him instead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. To Kazuichi. Gozu finds a big red button and presses it immediately as if he were drawn. To the glowing light. Fortunately, the button does nothing. Rantaro stood in the ashes of a trillion dead souls, ocarina in hand, and asked the ghost if honor matters. The silence was their answers. A wish king with his ocarina. Makoto unknowingly eats toxic berries. Juzo panics and tries to kill Makoto, but he's failed. Rest in peace, Makoto. There we go. Every so often, the non fatal version of this one all the time. That's the fatal one. Rest in peace. Uh, Izioi cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Izioi, oh no. Taka receives an explosion from a note sponsor. Gundam dies from hypothermia, oh no. And 
Kizakura, Mitarai, and Fuyiko start fighting, but Mitarai runs away as Kizakura kills Fuyiko. Oh my gosh, Danganronpa 2, y'all did not have a good day. You had a bad day, a very bad day. A very bad, a super bad day. A bad, bad day, day three. Kizakura makes a poem for Totaro. Teru Teru stalks Takamichi. Shuichi breaks down and starts weeping for unknown reason. Unknown reason. Alter Ego tries to console him. Mekamaru holds Haiji's head underwater, but Haiji grabs his arm and pulls him into the lake with him. Both tributes are uh, unable to kill another, so they simply swim away. How intense. Munakata spins so fast that he becomes a human Beyblade. With his sword? That seems very dangerous. Tengen begs for Masaru to kill him. He refuses keeping Tengen alive. Bad Togami is exposed to Rantaro's sensitivity aura, causing him to become more emotional. Gozu makes a slingshot. AI Gonta pales. Uh, sees a completely pale Taka washed ashore, unmoving. AI Gonta revives him with CPR. How? Ah, I see. Not mouth to mouth, it's screen to mouth. I get that. Nagisa gets drenched in honey. Unfortunately, he's allergic and dies. Oh no. He's allergic to stickiness. I get that. Hajime comes across a fox with its legs caught in a bear trap and frees it, and that fox is now his companion, a loyal companion to the man who's searching for his wizard robe. Mitarai receives a knife from an unknown sponsor. Kaito, Gonta, and Kibo hold an intervention for AV's pancake addiction he didn't even show because it's not an addiction. It's not. I can stop eating pancakes whenever I want, but I don't want to, and I never will. Juzo! Tries to find every Monokuma on school grounds. Hifumi enjoys a pumpkin spice latte. How basic Jin and Pennyworth threaten a double suicide. It fails and they both perish. Rest in peace. Yuta hunts for other tributes and... It started when an alien device did what it did. It stuck itself upon his wrist with secrets that it had. Now he's got super powers. He's no ordinary kid. He's Yasuke 10. That might... That might get him. That, that's that's Omnitrix on his wrist. I tell you what, we lost another eight. Eight more gone. That brings us to 25, I believe. Just over a standard game. No feast yet. No arena event yet. But there is a clear day loom, and that clear day loom is four. Kazuichi, Makoto, Izioi, Gundam, Fuyihiko, Nagisa, Jin. Pennyworth. See everybody's statuses. Do a quick double check to check on a live real quick. That is indeed 25. My quick math was very correct. Hafumi, Taka, Hajime, Fatogami, Teru Teru, Jotaro, Masaru, Haiji, Yuta, Gonta, Kibo, Kaito, Rantaro, our horn bear, and Shuichi. Most of the anime, the great Gozu, Juzo, Tengen, Kizakuro, Munakata, Mitarai, and almost all of District 6, they finally lost a couple souls. Alter Ego, Mekamaru, AI Gonta, Takamichi, and Yasuke Ten. That's your final 25. I don't know who will win. But I can tell you this. As we proceed. We have another feast. Which we usually get. We have an arena event, which is a toss-up, but we've been getting some of those recently, if we're being completely honest. Anything could happen. It could all end today. Let's find out. Let's proceed. Let's see what goes on. It's night three. Alter Ego. Receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Mekamaru, Takamichi, and Jotaro enter a scrum debate with Gozu, Rantaro, and Tengen. They argue about who's the best girl in Donalapa. I don't think I've seen so many scrum debates in a single episode. Y'all just can't make up your mind. Y'all have very conflicting opinions. And there's more! <laughs> Hajime is plagued by a reoccurring, uh, reoccurring nightmare. Taka climbs a tree to rest. Yasuke, 10. Hifumi, Kizakura get into a scrum debate with Kaito, Mitarai, and Kibo about who the strongest character in Danganronpa is. Y'all are so conflicting, I swear. Masaru convinces Munakata to snuggle with him. Fat Togami and Gonta get into a heated argument. Gonta has an, had enough of Fat Togami's crap and kills him. Fat Togami, oh no. I think all of my picks are gone. Shuichi walks into a portal and turns it on. His molecules get all rearranged, and he gets ghost powers. AI, Gonta, and Haiji exercise under the stars. Yuta and Teru Teru tell each other their greatest fears in order to grow each other's trust. And Juzo thinks about home as we proceed. Is it a feast? Is it a... I feel like it'll be the feast. It's day four. 
Kibo scares Masarua. Gonto is pricked by thorns while picking berries. AI, I probably jinxed the beast and now it's not gonna show up. AI, Gonto, and Juzo work together to drown Takamichi, but he overpowers them and drowns the both of them instead. My goodness gracious. Munagata kills Terry Terry as he tries to win a uh, run. Oh, this is getting. This is getting nuts. Duel Master Shuichi feigns death, tricking Taka into ignoring him. Rantaro deliberately jumps off of a cliff. He's like, you know what? I've had my fun. Ocarina, let's go. He probably played that Ocarina. He's probably got a Wind Waker hidden in his pants, too. He's like, Wind carry me away. He's out of here. He's dead, though. Gozu tries to sleep through the entire day. Hifumi poisons Hajime's drink. He drinks it and dies. Alter Ego is exposed to Yasuke's sensitivity aura, causing him to become more emotional. The AI is now feeling great emotion. Kaito injures himself. Juzo scares off Yuta. Haiji takes a sip of scolding hot tea, but it proves to be too much for him and he spits it out right into Kizakura's face. Tengen uses a spell to suck the intelligence out of Mechamaru, but the spell fails to work because there's nothing to suck out, and Mitarai receives a knife from an unknown sponsor we lost. Six. Six are gone. So, after this, Claire de Lune, four. Batogami. AI Gonta. Jotaro, Teru Teru, Rantaro, Hajime. Do we hit your final 19? We won't dilly dally. Only Hafumi and Taka remain for District 1. The team that I said they're gonna clutch up and win is now completely out. That is the devastating power of my jinx. I'm used to it. <laughs> Masaru, Haiji, and Yuta remain. District 4 stars Gonta Kibo, Kaito, and Shuichi, the Duel Master. District 5 still doing very well. Gozu, Juzo, Tengen, Kizakura, Munakata, and Mitarai. And District 6 still doing very well as well with Alter Ego, Mekamaru, Takamichi, and Yasuke. But that still means we have 19 left to lose. Well, 18 until we get a winner. 19 if we want no winner at all. <laughs> we have 18 left to lose. Nine more until your save and grace picks, but let's go ahead and proceed. Let's go ahead and start the next round, the next night, and night four. Kibo, Taka, and Kizakura spend the night making potions. After losing repeatedly to Tengen and Chess, Kaito tosses the game board into the campfire. Yasuke refuses to leave an injured Masaru's side. How nice of him. Gonta poisons Mekamaru's drink and he drinks it and dies. Mekamaru was out of here and didn't know you could poison that man, but apparently you can. Shuichi finds an etch sketch somehow. After a few hours, he creates a masterpiece. Mitsurai challenges Hifumi and Alter Ego. Hifumi, your pancake champion. To an anything goes pancake eating competition, Hifumi once again eats the most pancakes and is, uh, and is continuously dubbed Undisputed World Pancake Champion. Yuta forces Munakana to kill Takamichi and or Gozu. He refuses to kill, so Yuta kills him instead. Rest in peace to Munakata. Yuta, you're trying to get everyone a fan vote. Juzo unknowingly eats toxic berries. Rest in peace to him, which is shocking because you tried to save Makoto from doing the same thing earlier, and here you are goofing. <laughs> you should have learned. Haiji <laughs> passes off from exhaustion. We'll go on to day five. Taka feels like a duck is watching him. Shuichi collects fruit from a tree. Hifumi constructs a shack. Tengen throws some sand into the eyes of Kur uh, Kizakura, causing Kizakura to go temporarily blind for the rest of the day. This man can't see. Gozu plays chess with death. He loses the game and thus loses his life. And there I was, saying it earlier. I was like, you know what? The other one hasn't really come up that much, but there it is. <laughs> Incredible. Alter Ego, Takamichi, Haiji, Masaru, and Yuta hunt for other tributes. Gonta, Yasuke, and Mitarai get chased by a rampage in Kaito, and Kibo puts all of his faith into a tool we lost. Four. Five more until you're saved with grace picks. But for right now, but of course, we need a Claire de Lune. Four. Mekamaru. Munakata. Juza. Gozu. And we'll peek at everybody's statuses to see Hifumi. Taka's still alive. Goodbye despair, I jinxed y'all hard. Masaru, Haiji, Yuta, Gonta, Kibo, Kaito, Shuichi, Tengen, Kizakura, Mitarai, Alter Ego, Takamichi, and Yasuke are of course your final 15, correct? Correct. Five more, as I said, and we will not dilly-dally. We cannot wait, because we have to proceed to see at the start of Night 5. 
Will we get an arena event? Will we get the feast? I don't know. But Yasuke is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. You could have used your Omnitrix, my boy. You could have gone all heat blast. You could have started a fire of your own, my boy. A spooky, scary skeleton sends shivers down Hifumi's spine, killing him. Rest in peace, Masu makes a makeshift bet out of fallen leaves. Alter Ego and Kaito settle the dispute over an intense game of rock, paper, scissors. Who wins? Who loses? Find out next time. Taka puts his trust in Shuichi, allows himself to fall backwards. Shuichi does nothing and watches him fall down. He says, you're not worthy of my duel with Taka. Change his mind? We'll have to wait and see. Takamichi finds a turkey leg and takes a bite. Turns out it's actually made of cardboard. Don't tell everybody. Just at least pretend to eat it. Come on, Takamichi. Takamichi, what are you- Y'all didn't see anything. Tengen kills Gonta as he tries to run. Tengen, you have a target on your back. Mitarai chases Kizakura, Haiji, and Kibo trying to enforce a curfew, and Yuta receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor. We have to proceed, and there it is. The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food. Food. And more food. Delicious. Fantastic. And not cardboard, I promise. As a tribute shared Thanksgiving meal, Haiji eats too quickly and chokes to death on a turkey bone, which I promise is not made of cardboard. Kaito and Masu decide to work together to cook more side dishes before Thanksgiving dinner starts. Taka crushes Kibo in a bear hug. Oh my gosh! Oh man, that's terrifying! Uh, the tumultuous history between Yuta, Shuichi, and Takamichi reaches a breaking point during Thanksgiving dinner while they argue about how to best carve a turkey. Yuta demonstrates his expert technique of... Uh, on the necks of Duel Master Shuichi and Takamichi. Mm. Rest in peace to the Duel Master. Alter Ego and Tenken cry over the deaths of the turkey. Kizakura eats too quickly and chokes to death on the turkey bone as well. Yasuke eats so much food, he becomes an easy target for Mitarai, who slaughters him, couldn't even use his Omnitrix. We'll proceed, we still have a day to get through, but we definitely are at your saving grace picks. At the start of day 6, Tenken confides in Masaru. Yuta spins so fast he becomes a human Beyblade. Kaito sees that and he's like, you know what, that looks dope! He does the same! Alter Ego buys Eevee merchandise from Eevee's wares and despairs. I love to see it. A Monokuma eunuch- Oh no. A Monokuma eunuch corners Taka and mauls him, and I think that is the very end of Danganronpa 1 as well. Mitrai explores the arena. We lost. Okay! It's not over, okay. The tributes enjoy traveling. The traveling fair visiting the arena. Okay! <laughs> Mitarai throws darts at balloons to try and win a prize, but ends up throwing them into Kaito's skull. Rest in peace to him. Yuta enjoys the fair. Alter Ego and Masaru ride the chain swings, but the chains break and they fall to their doom. And Tengen chokes on a caramel apple. We're at your final two. Let's proceed. We are at your final two. We had 15. We had the feast and an arena event. And we are at your final two. Let's... We won't even be able to... We won't be able to do the terrible turnabout music. For right now, it's still technically a Claire Day Loon 4. Hafumi. Gonta, Haiji, Kibo, Shuichi, Takamichi, Kizakura, Yasuke, Taka, Kaito, Alter Ego, Masaru, Tengen. Now I won't even front. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time. It's time for your... Saving Grace picks. Do not give me first, second, and third. Give me first and second. Because it's Yuta. And it's Mitarai. This is the first time... Maybe ever... Since the induction of both Samurai Woman... And... Crisis of Fate. That we skip both Samurai Woman... And Crisis of Fate. It's Yuta trying to get you guys a fan vote, and it's Mitarai trying to be that man's. I don't know who it's gonna be. So tell me in the comments, I guess. You'll be able to call it Yuta or Mitarai 
first and second. <laughs> I wouldn't even play around. I'm just gonna... We don't even... Who will it be? Yuta for the fan vote. Mitarai for the win. Yuta, trying to prove that this is still the dominant season of the Asahina. This has been a minute since they started off. You might have thought that they've fallen off, but nah. No, no. They're trying. He's trying to. He's trying to say Hina got all those spots. I want another one too. I want another one too. Could he get another one? Could he get another one? I don't know. And Mitarai. Nice, calm, pleasant Mitarai. A good chap. A good boy. Needs a good win. Could he be the best man today? Yuta or Mitarai? Yuta or Mitarai? I'm gonna proceed. And when I proceed, it will be all over. Who will be Dagon Rampa's best man? Yuta or Mitarai? I can tell you! Because as Mitarai and Yuta cuddle together for the night, Mitarai falls asleep, and as soon as he falls asleep, Yuta stabs. He mauls. He mutilates. He destructifies them. And he gets a fan vote for you all. Because, as we proceed, it is still, still, and I say still, your winner. Still, the season of the Asahinas. He won the title this season. When chaos reigned, he knew... He didn't have it in him, and he passed it on to his sister. And thus, the Asahinas getting you guys another fan vote. Yuta is Danganronpa's best man. I have no words. He did it. T shirt did. No words. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm not shocked. Let's be completely honest. Yuta, yeah, you've had a season. You sure have. And you got four kills today. Yuta in first. Mitarai in second. Tengen in third. Masaru in fourth. Alter Ego in fifth. Kaito in sixth. Taka in seventh. Yasuke in eighth. Hizakura in ninth. And Takamichi in tenth. District six did pretty phenomenally but let me tell you up until the end i thought it was gonna be masaru until <laughs> everyone started dropping like flies yuda took this win congratulations to him that's a another fan vote y'all are sweeping them in the singles bracket but they're not being touched in the tag team bracket but maybe tomorrow we'll have to wait and see we're moving ahead. We are getting real close to the end of the year and the season. Year of the Horizon, you're almost over. When I, when I, you know, started this year and I was like, who knows what awaits beyond the horizon? Who could have guessed what awaited beyond the horizon? We'll proceed. It all started with Teru Teru fooling everybody as we continue going onward, onward, and onward, 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 and 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 onward. to Yuta taking out Mitarai, luring him in with the cuddlin, moited him. True despair for him. But you know what? It's just, once again, the, seasons of the, the season of the Asahinas. But only in singles action, because they haven't been doing too much in tag team action, I'll tell you what. We'll proceed again. Yuta with four KOs, Terra Terra with three. Alter Ego, Gonta, Jitaro, Mitarai, Munakata, Takamiji, Tengen all with two, Nafumi, Izuru, Kizukura, Kokichi, Pennyworth, and Taka all with one. District 3, your ultra spare district, the most manliest of men, led by the most manliest man, Yuta. Former Danganronpa Hunger Games champion. And the man who helped rein in 
the season of the Asahinas. And if you're confused on what that means, check out the singles bracket. All these Asahinas, all these Asahinas, all over the place. What are they doing? Winning. That's what they're doing. Getting secret achievements. That's what they're doing. And we still have a couple secret achievements to go. I know some of one, at least one's guaranteed to hit. The other four could be fanbos. Who knows? Who knows? But as we come back, back to reality. <clears throat> are you ready? We'll go back to the reaping. That's all that we have. Congratulations to Yuta. What can I say? It's, it was a big game. Not many of these people have a win this season. Because of the Asahinas. They're going strong. They're going clutch. Congratulations to Yuta. I feel bad for Mitsurai. I kind of hope you guys vote him in. But that's all she wrote. Is that all she wrote? Toon Link, Dave? Year of the Horizon? United States Aviator? Taking off? That's true. Until tomorrow. Which is, I don't remember. No, I do remember. The last couple of weeks, we've kind of had um, a day of, <laughs> or a weekend that is like matched up perfectly with one of the uh, tag teams. So it's been like their showcased episode. That's gonna happen again. Which team will it be? I don't know. Let's find out next time. Less than 24 hours away. Until then, stay classy. Year of the Horizon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Toodle it. Like brave.